Okay, so another very, very important message is, you know, like in every negative thing, there's a positive side to everything. And uh, it's not going to be easy, obviously, as Passover comes. And uh, assuming the, the Gula is not going to be here, that Mashiach is not going to be here, God forbid. Um, we're going to all celebrate Passover at home. Um, hopefully, for, for most hopefully with other people, God willing, but um, unfortunately some people may actually celebrate it alone. It, it is quite sad. But the, the message here is from God is, um, and we need to see, take perspective here, you know, is, um, is, um, you know, God wants to, you know, secluding everybody, and not just in Passover. I mean, you know, where each one of us is quarantined to some degree or another, and uh, we, you know, we are with our own, you know, for our own decisions and so forth, and uh, and basically, um, uh, what's happening is uh, is on the positive side. We're, we're, when we're secluded and we're given a chance to be separated and separated from others and um, we have more of a chance to to uh, to reassess our lives and reassess the way we think and um, and, uh, and 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 it's about the individual you know um, Rabbi Nachman really wanted us to uh, to do our work as individuals Okay, not 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 as so much as a group. Okay, as an individual. Okay, as to assess and to reassess. Where are we? Who are we? Where are you? 